And while we are on the topic of illegal drugs, the FBI says it has arrested a San Francisco man who allegedly ran an underground website for selling drugs, documents, and services. 29-year-old Ross William Ulbrich, who reportedly used the name Dread Pirate Roberts to run the Silk Road website, was charged in New York District Court this week. Ulbrich is also accused of involvement in two assassination plots. Trying to get an undercover agent to kill a former Silk Road employee who he feared might become a government witness, and a user of the Silk Road who was attempting to extort him. As for the Silk Road website itself, the FBI has shut it down for good. Just to give you an idea of how big of a deal this is, FBI Special Agent Christopher Tal or Tarbell described the Silk Road website to The Guardian as, quote, the most sophisticated and extensive criminal marketplace on the Internet today. Since 2011, the website has generated about $1.2 billion. Silk Road users could only use bitcoins, the world's most popular form of virtual currency, to buy or sell merchandise anonymously. While the Bitcoin Foundation says that the closure of Silk Road will not affect the long-term value of the currency, it does affect Silk Road users who had already transferred Bitcoins into their accounts. The Fed seized about $3.6 million worth of Bitcoins during their raid. But the closure of the website will likely only slow the illegal drug trade online temporarily. Authorities say it's only a matter of time before similar websites pop up. Some already exist.